from not qualifying in the aims examination last year in the may to coming to the all india rank 15 this year in may inic regarding solving questions um, yeah. actually initially when i started i did not have much idea regarding how to solve questions and all those i was just randomly solving q banks but okay. uh, then actually after uh, referring to some um, you know online resources and after listening to some guides and mentors yeah. i realized that uh, you know blindly doing the q bank is actually not of much help so True. i started focusing only on the previous year questions questions that have been asked so okay. uh, every day i tried to uh, set aside an hour or two for solving okay. questions and which were primarily the previous year questions like repeatedly solving the previous year questions okay. and actually uh, it sounds easy but actually you know you will not be able to complete solving the past 5 years questions also true, right true. because if you, it's huge I mean, yeah, yeah it's huge you know sunne mein aisa lagta hai ki are previous year yeah. question kitna hai aur matlab kar lenge able to do it but it's not like that ha kar lenge nahi hai actually it takes Haan. time so time. even towards the end of my preparation when i went through the marrow the um, previous year question section i realized there were things that i hadn't solved earlier while i was thinking i've solved everything so that is how it is so i think that's very important and yeah so from the question banks i used to bookmark questions and also they okay. have this uh, mcq id which uh, yeah, yeah. i used to ha i used to just add it to my uh, notes that you okay. know while reading this topic just go to that question again and go through that explanation once so that was another way in which i linked okay. my notes and the question give me the last rank you scored in uh, the, your grand test last grand test for the last um gt that i had given was uh, the ini mock of yeah, um yeah. before the ini marrow yeah ha yeah. huh. and in that uh, i think i had a rank of around 211 okay and that was <laughs> that was uh, some one and a half months before the exam and yeah, yeah so after that i improved maybe yeah. yeah so i really love this because uh, before uh, like grand test scores shouldn't affect the preparation and the mindset also because uh, many of us get disappointed with the grand uh, grand test scores but right but that should not demotivate us because see if you even if you see your last rank this is the reason why i asked it was 211 and uh, the jump from uh, 2000 in november to 215 so you should always keep believing in yourself and like keep solving you never know how it exam day is always it might turn out to be something different exactly exactly and i think uh, rather than your uh, gt ranks i think it should be your the the way you actually feel while giving the test because so i important. used to feel that for myself like there were mm-hmm. some, some tests during which i was happy with the way i performed like the way i was being able to recall stuff and there were other tests in which maybe i got a good rank or a good score but, but i knew yeah. that uh, you know i was guess i was doing more of guess work and mm. i was not being able to recall things so that is what is more important i think True. the self analysis should be more rather than what uh, rank you're getting or what percentile you're getting experience nowadays what they do is if multiple answer question comes they skip it they think that it's only for ini cet or it's only for some other exam but nothing is like that according to me every question is from the same syllabus only be it multiple choice question be it match the following be it any other type of question image based question everything is from the same syllabus only so we should not be scared yeah. of doing mcqs that's my main point so from the very beginning i was very prudent in doing those mcqs and uh, that's what helped me in ini cet actually because uh, the questions were not very good this time Those, yeah this time uh, i heard it was hard. really hard yeah it was not the questions much were not, not from uh, pyqs yeah and pyqs this were not there much the questions were not from pyqs mm-hmm. yeah definitely that's why the mcq solving skills is the most important thing that one needs to crack according to me 
Uh, many okay. toppers say that you need to revise your notes, revise your notes. But if you don't revi- don't if you revise your notes but don't solve M- MCQs, then it will not sol- solve the purpose, according True. to me. So that's the main point. Uh, the Cube Bank I finished it before main videos because I love doing MCQs. Yeah, MCQ is love, and this is like uh, knowing about the game of cricket but not playing in the nets. So ultimately, it's yes, important yes, yes, yes. to yeah. You might know all the theory. Uh, yeah. But yes. you might all yeah. know all the theory, but you cannot do well in the exam if you don't practice. And uh, lastly, Rahul, any uh, message to aspirants? Like how you would like to conclude and how, uh, like just a good message for the aspirants. Uh, my message would be that you need to be consistent. Every day you need to put, put on the hours. Because if you're not consistent, then it, then there is no point. Because you might forget everything the next day if you do not study and uh, regarding one uh, there is one movie called kung fu panda have you watched it yeah 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 kung- animated movie there uh, yeah. he finds yeah. a scroll the uh, the dragon scroll from hmm. which he can he can be the dragon warrior and when he first opens it then it's empty yeah there is nothing written yeah. then in the final battle when he opens it then he sees the reflection of himself so it means that the dragon warrior warrior is inside you only definitely the giant is within you just have to awaken it yes you just have to awaken it and uh, you have to believe in yourself that you can also do it because if you don't believe then nothing is possible so you have to believe then everything is actually possible and uh, that's that's the main thing consistent be consistent keep believing in yourself and don't be fear of failing don't be in don't be afraid of losing yeah give it all you yeah. can do it what about ini seat like uh, the, this time i heard that the previous questions were not repeated much but it was a different uh, type of pattern and you did really well yeah, the... so how was it like oh. <laughs> how much like how you approached i did not expect the result uh, which it came out because my experience of the exam was really horrible uh, <laughs> the november one half way through the exam i thought of yeah i thought of giving up like it was so horrible the paper okay. it was completely different the questions were so many questions were completely like uh, totally different i have never seen them never read them so yeah that was one thing and uh, preparation as such in those two months i did not change anything i just my usual revision notes and previous year question i9 questions all those things i just did those and just went to give the exam so one thing i learned from the uh, result is that the day of giving exam the, yes that is more important no matter how much we have prepared not prepared things we have read not read if on the day of exam we are confident of ourselves then i think the exam will go well that's such a wonderful message because yes many of us tend to yeah. you know uh, give up in the preparation phase itself but always yeah, till the exam exactly. is not over it is not over so definitely you have to yeah, have the exactly. confidence yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah that is so that is I so important i have to have the confidence because we have been preparing for so long yeah. if we don't so, just give up at the last moment or have under confident then it's no use